good to see everybody today. We're just going to open up with prayer and have a song or two. Father in heaven, we just uh, thank you for this time that you have given us, Father God, to come together, Lord God, and to fellowship, Lord God, and to pour into your children, Father God. They're here, Lord God, to, to hear from you, Father God, and I'm just the vessel that you have chosen, Father God, to speak to your children, Father God. So we just pray that would you um, speak through me on today, Lord God, would encourage their hearts, Father God, and uplift them, Lord God. Um, I, I pray that it strengthens them, Lord God, if they need healing in their bodies. I pray that this word heals them, Lord God, gives them comfort, Father God. It fulfills the very needs, Lord God, that they have, Lord God, in their life, Father God. And so we're just here to praise you and to lift you up. And we pray that you are glorified. Many things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy, worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy, worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy, worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy, worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good, yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good, yes, he is good, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome and great God. Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Songs of the Lord, let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, let the peace of the Lord. Let the peace of the Lord rise among us. Let the peace of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. And everyone say go. Oh. oh. Let it rise. Let it rise. 
the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord King rise among us. Let it rise. And everyone sing, oh, oh. Sometimes the news don't understand that they're planting fear into our hearts. 
and planting fear into our ears. And God is saying, listen, even though you may watch the news, I don't watch it because I know that they're not telling, they don't always tell us the truth anyhow. But listen, when you hear something, God says, don't be fearful. Don't think that God has lost control because of the things that's happening in the world. God is still on his throne. He is still in control. And if you belong to him, guess what? You're in the best hands. All right? They say, I think you always say, they say, all state, in good hands with all state. Listen, all state ain't got hands like the Lord. Nobody can keep us like the Lord. He says, though war arise against me, even in this, I will remain confident. Listen, things are going to happen in your life. David is talking about because he's a man of war. And he's been in so many battles. And he says, even though war rises against me, David says, hey, listen, I'm not going to worry. I'm going to still be confident in the Lord. Listen, we go through our daily struggles. We have our ups and our downs. But God says, don't lose confidence in him. Our confidence is in the Lord. We need to be persuaded that God is going to keep us no matter what we're going through. All of the changes around the world. Listen, God is going to keep you because you belong to him. Yes. Verse 4 says, One thing I have asked from Yahweh or God, it, it I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh or the house of God all the days of my life. Now he was talking about the temple, the place of worship. But now you know that our bodies is the temple of God. God, through the Holy Spirit, lives within us. And what he's basically talking about is that all the days of his life, he wanted to be in the presence of God. Now, what David is saying that he's desiring is what we also can desire each and every day. Because by God being within us, the Holy Spirit being within us, we can dwell in the presence of God each and every day. It says... One thing I have asked Yahweh, it I will seek that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life, to, to behold the beauty of God. Even though God is a spirit, he's beautiful. We see some of the beautiful creations that he's made. See, we want to look out there to the beautiful creation, but you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You're created in the image of God. So we know how God looks because he created us in his image. And when he created you, he created you in beauty. All right? Don't listen, don't listen to nobody else. Just tell somebody. Listen, you may think I'm ugly, but God says I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Because this is how God wanted me to look to bring him glory. Yes. So in God's eyes, guess what? You're beautiful. Yeah. You are beautiful. Verse 5 says, because he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the hiding place of his tent. Understand that God is my protection. He's the one that keeps us each and every day. Verse 6 says, and now my head will be high over my enemies. In other words, I got victory because the Lord hid me, because the Lord protected me, because the Lord kept me. The enemy wanted to take me out, but he couldn't. I can hold my head up in victory. We got victory in Christ Jesus. Do you know every day that God allows you to see you got victory? You need to know that sometimes you may not feel victorious, but you still got the victory because the victorious one lives within you. God is undefeated. He has never lost a battle. All right? And so guess what? If he's never lost a battle, you're not going to lose no battle. Because he's going to keep you through the battle. Verse 7 says, Hear, O God, or Yahweh, my voice when I call. Be gracious to me and answer me. You know, when we call upon the name of the Lord, he says, I will answer you. The one scripture says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord, he shall he'll save them, he'll deliver them. So us being righteous, us being the children of God, we can call upon his holy name. And he will answer. He will be there. Verse 8 says, on, on your behalf, my heart says, seek my face. Your face, O God, I do seek. In other words, he's just seeking God through prayer. 
He's having an intimate. There's nothing wrong with being intimate with God. Okay, that level of intimacy is worship. That's what we call worship. And, and, and he's saying, I'm seeking your face. I'm worshiping you, Lord. I'm seeking you because I desire to seek you from my heart. You should thank God that you have a heart that want to seek after God. Because in our heart, which is deceitfully wicked, we can seek so many different things. So if you have a heart for God, that's a blessing. Because some people don't have a heart for God. Verse 9 says, do, do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. And do not abandon or forsake me, O God of my salvation. And so we don't ever want God to hide his face from us. You know, when Jesus was on the cross, you know, because of the sin that he was dying, he was dying for the, 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 the sin of the world. And he says, you know, Father, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? God had to turn his, his face away from the sin. And he felt abandoned by his father. But his father was still there. His father just couldn't look on the sin that was upon his shoulders. And so, yes, we don't want God to turn his face from us. Because if he turned his face from us, we will feel empty again. We will feel lost. But David says, God is the God of my salvation. He's my deliverer. He is my Savior. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this time that you have given us, Father God, to share your word on today, Father God. Help your children, Father God, to continue to have confidence in you to trust in you, Father God, even in the midst of everything that's going on in the world. Help us not to be overwhelmed by what the news say, Father God, and the different changes on the world, in the world. Help us to look to you and to trust in you and to believe in you and to believe in your word, Father God. You are a faithful God. You are a covenant God. And you keep your covenant and you remain faithful to us and help us to trust in you in the midst of everything that's going on. Help us to glorify your name. Help us to praise you and lift you up, Father God, in the midst of what's going on. And these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Love you all. And I will see you all next week. Amen. 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 Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you.